that be great? If we actually had a relationship with Russia? Dream on, dream on, dream <laughs> Let's go back to London. We're, we're, people are going to start talk. Molly Hunter, ABC News correspondent, live in London once again this week. Good morning, Molly Hunter. McGraw, good morning. All right, so uh, Russia retaliated and expelled 60 diplomats from Russia, right? That's exactly right. And to no one's surprise, McGraw, that they did that. Uh, wh- and what does it mean to close the consulate in St. Petersburg? What does that mean exactly? Well, it's a big step, but it's exactly tip for tat what the U.S. did. So all of this is related, of course, to the scripple poisoning that we've been talking about all week. That Russian double agent, former Russian double agent turned uh, British spy, uh, who was poisoned on March 4th here in the U.K. And the U.K., of course, was fast out of the gate, first out of the gate, too. Uh, to accuse Russia of that poisoning and then expel Russian diplomats from the U.K. Now, the U.S. and more than two dozen countries uh, followed suit, also expelled Russian diplomats. So earlier this week, the U.S. kicked out 60 Russian diplomats and closed the Russian consulate in Seattle. Uh, So to no one's surprise, Russia has done exactly the same. They want to expel 60 U.S. diplomats and close the St. Petersburg consulate by tomorrow. So exactly tit for tat. The U.S. and the White House said they were expecting this. Uh, and Russia's foreign minister had even warned that this was happening yesterday when he said they would respond in kind. Hmm. Uh, did I hear that the woman, the daughter, is actually doing better? So that's exactly, that's the other big news this week, is that we have heard very little about the actual health condition of Sergei Skripal and his daughter, Yulia Skripal, who've been in the hospital in critical condition, uh, as far as we knew, since March 4th. Yesterday, British health authorities came out and said, actually, she's improving, she's responding. And then a couple hours later, they said, she's actually talking. She's actually responding kind of verbally, uh, and she's doing much better, improving rapidly, and she's in stable condition, no longer critical condition. That was a huge shock because our understanding of Novichok, the military-grade nerve agent that has been used to poison both Sergei and his daughter, uh, our understanding from, from a former Russian scientist who worked on this there wasn't really a cure, that there was no way to get some better. Uh, so this is a massive surprise yesterday. Hmm. Molly Hunter, ABC News correspondent in London. Thanks for checking in, Molly. Have a good day.